Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for July 23rd, 24th, and 25th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Now, this is the weekend, and we have a lot of stuff going on. But to begin, you know I'm going to be using my Radley Valentine decks. I'm going to be using my Angel Tarot cards for the main message. I will pull one from my Archangel Power Tarot cards. I'll also pull one from Emily Anderson Crystal deck. I think I'm going to pull one from the Radley Valentine Guardian Angel deck also. So we'll see how that is. Now, I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy. But remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. Now, um, I am an intuitive channeler. I open myself to higher power and just try to let higher power do the speaking. We'll see where that takes us. Um, I do want you to know that any card that is reversed has a little stronger energy. Remember to like, share, subscribe, click on the bell. It does help the channel. It keeps me going. So thank you very much. Please comment also. I do love hearing your comments. Now, we have some th interesting stuff happening. Now, the 23rd is the full, the official full day in Leo. Okay, so it started, Leo season started on the 22nd. But this is now the official full day. We also have the first of two full moons, and they will be in Aquarius. This is the first full moon is on the 23rd. Um, it, is our, it is at 10.36 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And this is where we do a lot of our, um, our affirmations, putting our intentions out. It's a great time to release, relinquish, and request. And I, that's how I you know, summarize it. Release what's holding you back, relinquish what you don't need anymore, and request the good stuff. Now, this full moon, because it is, you know, it's very odd to um, get two full moons in an astrological sign. I'm trying to figure out when the last time there was that happened. I don't know. There might have been something um, between, but, you know, the Internet was telling me 2008 when there were two full moons in Scorpio. Now, there can be two full moons in a month time, in a calendar month time, but this is, uh, this is an oddity. So we will have to see what happens. This could be an extremely emotional full moon because, you know, it's, you know this is in Aquarius. Aquarius is an air sign, though it is the water bearer. And what, but it's not a water sign. Basically, what Aquarius does, Aquarius energy does, it helps to lift our health, our hard burdens. Okay, it's 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 carrying a lot of the energies that we ourselves, the other astrological signs, are not able to necessarily hold on to or carry. Okay, so that's one thing about Aquarius energy. Now um, we also come up to the twenty fifth of July and the 25th is a very int uh, the galactic calendar it might be it might be on the Mayan calendar well actually I should go to the 24th the 24th ends the calendar year in whatever this calendar is and the 25th is what's considered the day outside of time so it's a very mystical time it's also a it's one for you to um, you know connect with higher power and I higher power guardian angel spirit guide Voice of the universe, your divine, your source, whoever that is to you. Okay, that is your path, your decisions, your choices. So there's this weekend has a lot of very strong, powerful energy. Now the thing about the full moon, again, we'll go back to that. Yes, um, you know it is one of these things to you know to look up and to really you know put out those intentions. Now, in the normal sphere. Having a full moon twice in one month is considered a blue moon. However, the more research I do, a lot of um, astrologers, or there are astrologers that believe that the, the once in a full moon or once in a blue moon is actually when you have two full moons in an astrological sign. So there is lots of stuff going to be happening. Remember, we have it at the beginning of Leo. And then, just as Leo is about to transition into Virgo, we have another full moon. So it's going to be very interesting times for us, and there's a lot of stuff going on. Now, again, too, if you want to know more, go back to the um, longer readings, the one your sign, twenty second, July 22nd to August um, 22nd. In the beginning, the first 30 minutes, I talk about some of those um, astrological um, influences, okay? 
Okay, so lots of stuff going on. Um, full moon energy. We get through it all. We put out our positive intentions and... You know, it, it, it'll be a good weekend. It'll be a very good weekend. The 26th is when the astro, that, that um, galactic, whatever, um, galactic calendar, that's when it's supposed to be the start. We will see. Okay, let's go with our readings. Hello, my Capricorns. How are you? It'll be an interesting full moon. I think you'll be, I think you'll do well. I think you'll be very grounded through it. I kind of feel like you're looking at everyone like, Oh, what's got into them? And then you go, oh, full moon. It's the full moon. Here we go. Let's see what we have for my Capricorns. My Capricorns. And reversed. Nope, reversed. Okay. So I can see. Here we are. Okay, again, two new money source. Aces are ones. So remember, write down the one. Aces are ones. Earth is your energy. It's also Taurus and Virgo, solid energy, money energy, your home energy, new home, new job, new prospects, new something. I know, I know, we, we, and I've talked about this with some Capricorns. I'm always seeing you with your resumes. I'm always seeing you, you know, getting ready for whatever new job. The thing is, you've got some offers coming in. You have some offers. People know your work ethic. People know what you can do. The thing, too, though, is, my Capricorns, choose wisely. I feel like you need to choose wisely. You need to kind of, even though it may seem wonderful, you really need to know. You really need to look at everything, look at whatever it is that they're offering you. Make sure if there's a contract involved that you get someone to do that. I'm not legal. I don't do legal advice. Make sure you have someone really look through that contract because you may find some stipulations that aren't necessarily like, wait a minute, you said this and now you're doing this. So there's something with that going on. Just have somebody comb through it with you, okay? Okay, but the Ace of Earth is new prospects, new money, new something happening, new career paths, okay? It's the inflow of abundance, a promising business venture, important documents or contracts. Next card, the seven of water. So there's some complex decisions. It's like, oh, what do I do? What do I do? Sevens have the divine umbrella. It kind of is like you do what you've got to do. And then there's the higher power that's kind of like, oh, that was a good choice, Capricorn, but we're not going to let you do that. We're going to move you this way now. So, or it could be, well, then I'm going to, I want to do this. And then higher power source says, no, we back you on this. So there is something, there is kind of a destiny, there is a divine destiny type of energy going on here. There is, you know, and again, when we meet our, when, when, with destiny, destiny doesn't mean that once we've met a portion of it, that we've met it. No, this is, we're still on a journey. So this could be like a rest stop, uh, you know, think of it as an expressway or a highway. This could be an, ex, this could be a detour, this could be a rest stop. But it's, it's just another stop along your road, along your journey, okay? But it, it is about thinking things and, you know, trying to say, do I do this? Do I not do this? You know, you might as well make your plans, then give it up to higher power and say, hey, this is what I'm planning on doing. Let me know if this meets. Let me know if it doesn't, then let it fall apart. It's that kind of energy. Water, did I say this? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, fluid, emotional. A complex decision, the need to do research. Stop procrastinating. Your last card here, awakening, looking at things a little differently, looking at things from a different angle, a different perspective. Now, so we have the 1-7 and the 1-2. Now, now, we've talked about 1s. 2s are decisions also. 2s, you know, which way do I go? Choices. Awakening has Archangel Gabriel. Gabriel is the divine messenger. You might have some news. Again, it's looking at things a little differently. It's not necessarily looking at them head on. Also to um, my Capricorns, I mean, being that you're, you know, you're an earth energy, you like things very straightforward. This isn't going to be straightforward. You know, this isn't. Um, so I'm just, I'm just warning you right now, you're going to need to kind of like, you know, like somebody will say, Oh, can you do this this weekend? And you go, sure. 
and then you find out that this is five, you know, it's 500 miles away, that it's going to, you know, it's going to cost you money. So it's kind of like delve in, look, you know, ask questions, do things a little differently than you do. Don't necessarily accept the person at their, at face value either. But, you know, just, and, you know, and while, you know, again, too, and while you're, you want the positive outcome, it's okay for you to, it's okay for you to ask questions, too. Okay. Look at things from a different perspective, a temporary standstill. It's important to be yourself. Many times over, we do kind of think, oh, what are they looking at? And, um, no, no, just, just be yourself, be blunt, be bold, be who you are, my Capricorns. If, because you cannot, you know, it, it, it's very hard for you to stay behind a mask. Yes, we all have social masks. We all, you know, we all try to be polite or as polite as we want to, we want to be. I don't know. But, um, you know, be, be who you are. Let them know who you are um, during this weekend. Here we go. Reversed. The eight of Michael. Now, so we have one, seven, one, two, eight. Eh, could be something. Michael is air energy. It is our Libra Aquarius. Aquarius full moon. It's also our Gemini energy. Thought processes. It could also be about hearing news. And remember, Archangel Gabriel is the divine messenger. So there could be some news coming to you. And this news is very liberating. Eight um, is unlimited opportunities, unlimited possibilities. So it's kind of, it is telling you to look at everything, look at these offers, ask your questions, let them know who you are, but also let them know what you'll accept and what you won't accept. Be very blunt with them. Um, you know, I'm not going to say that you be adversarial. <laughs> Again, I have Capricorns in my life. I know you can be very, hey, this is where we're going to go. Um, it, but I do think that this would be a time for you to just kind of say, this is what I accept, this is what I don't accept, okay? But the aid of Michael is you can be free, make a courageous choice to change your situation. Not seeing things clearly. Let's go on. Guardian Angel cards. Let's see what we have here. But there is, between that seven of water and the awakening, Archangel Gabriel, there is a lot of divine energy around you. And it's, you know, there is a lot of, um, again, you know, pulling off or detour or something like that. It's where you're supposed to be, what you're supposed to be doing. But, again, pray, meditate, connect. And, you know, these are always your choices. We can, we can do something totally different. How does that work out? Sometimes great, sometimes not so great. Here we go. Ace of action. Now, action is our fire energy, okay? Our Leo Sagittarius Aries, passionate and burning. Ace is, again, the ones. So you actually have one, two, and a three. You have three ones right there. You have a seven, two, eight. You can look at it that way, too. So, ace of action. This cherub is heralding a time of wonderful new opportunities related to your creativity your career, or pursuing your dreams. This is a card of action, and if you've been procrastinating, I know, get your resume. <laughs> Carry your resume. Put it on a, uh, one of those, you know, on the drive. Yeah, always have it with you if you've been procrastinating. It's time to really get busy. It's also a great time to start a new business. Have confidence in your abilities. So I like that for my Capricorns. I like that a lot. Okay, let's see what crystal or energy from Emily Anderson Crystal Deck. Okay, this is reversed. Golden or gold sheen obsidian. I tried to find this at my local shop. I could not. But this is about personal power, spiritual manifestation. And again, you know, that full moon up that full moon has a lot of manifesting power manifestation power. Earth healing, new experiences. Okay, this is time now. Let's get this done, my Capris. Okay. Remember the button. Like, share, subscribe. Click on the bell. Most importantly, always know that you are loved, my Cappies. Be, stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.